Hello folks, Brian Manzella, Golf Magazine Top 100 Teacher, here to talk to you about the swing of PGA Tour proximity to the hole stat leader. That's how close you hit the ball to the hole on your approach shots into the green, Steve Stricker. There's three things that I think that you might miss when you look at Steve Stricker's swing that I think if you try to incorporate into your golf swing, you'll be very happy with the result. The first thing you may have missed about Steve Stricker's swing is how he uses wrist cock in his golf swing. Steve Stricker doesn't cock his wrist very much on the backswing. He doesn't really add very much wrist cock as he starts his downswing like a lot of golfers do who don't have a whole lot at the top. He dumps out the wrist cock very early in the downswing. And then on the other side of impact, he doesn't recock his wrist as much. So if you got a golfer standing behind Steve in the driving range at a tour event, who's a early setting, down cocking leg, dump it on the ball, and then recock it on the other side type of swing, it really makes Steve Stricker's swing look like the TV people say, simple. Well, it works for Steve and it's something I think you ought to try. You ought to just let the weight of the club dictate when the wrist cock and uncock and recock. I think you'll be very happy with it. Second thing that Steve does in his golf swing that a lot of people miss is how long he keeps his right elbow lower than his left elbow. When you look at Steve Stricker's swing from the face on view, his right elbow is gonna be visible under his left arm. You're gonna see this in almost every really good player, but you're not gonna see anybody keep their right elbow lower than their left elbow, lower than my left elbow, lower than my left elbow, lower than my left elbow. I almost can't even physically get in that position as long as he does. Maybe Tommy Ganey or Zach Johnson, but this gather up the marbles, like you're standing here with a vat of marbles and you're just scooping a bunch of marbles. That look, as opposed to someone flashing one arm over the other, really does give him a real simple look to his golf swing and has a lot to do with why he's such a good short iron player. And I guarantee you those short iron numbers really influence that proximity to the whole stat. He's very good with long clubs too. But if you try keeping that right elbow in that underhanded motion as long as you can, as long as you can square the face up, you know, near impact, whatever you need for your particular ball flight, you'll be very, very happy with the results. The third thing that Stricker does that I promise you, you haven't seen unless you've looked at it really close in slow motion is how well he compresses the ball, how well he uses his club head speed and turns it in to ball speed. They call that smash factor. And to do that, you have to get the angle of attack and the dynamic loft of the club as close together as possible. And I've got a six iron right here. And what Stricker does is, because he pumped out a lot of that wrist cock, that club is very low to the ground, about 18 inches before the ball. And then what he's able to do is use his pivot to help his left shoulder go up and back and pull his hands upward. Take this point between his hands and move it level to slightly upward while that club is just barely going down. So with his hands forward, he's taking loft off the club. You're gonna to have to do that to hit the ball like a tour player. And he's taking the angle of attack and making it very shallow because he's already got the club low and his hands are moving slightly upward toward impact. I promise you, if you work on those three hidden elements of Steve Stricker's swing, you'll be very efficient when it comes to hitting the ball far for your club head speed and you're going to start putting it close to the hole and maybe lead the proximity to the hole stat back at the club. <laughs>